So, in the last lecture, we have observed that how to find out the Fourier series of a function and also how to find out the Fourier series of an even function or of an odd function. As you have seen, for the Fourier series of even function, then uh, we have only the terms of cosine and if the function f x is odd function, then f x can be expanded in terms of sine terms only. Now, let us take one more example to check how we can find out the Fourier series of a function. Let us take a function f x equals x, x lies between 0 to 2 pi and it is a periodic function with period 2 pi that is f of x plus 2 pi equals f x. So, here your a naught I am directly writing a naught equals 1 by pi 0 to 2 pi f x d x and if you calculate the value f x equals x in 0 to 2 pi. So, that it will become only 2 pi your a n equals 1 by pi 0 to 2 pi f x into cos n x d x. What is x? f x equals x is an odd function. So, that this becomes odd. So, your a n is 0 without calculation also we could have told your b n is 1 by pi 0 to 2 pi f x is x into sin n x d x. So, that this I can write down 1 by pi into minus x by integration by parts after doing x into cos n x by n 0 to 2 pi we can write down minus 0 to 2 pi cos n x by n into d x this is the second term. So, that I will obtain this equals 1 by pi minus x into cos n x by n here and here I will obtain sin n x by n square. Since, here it is n is there and the limit will be from 0 to 2 pi. So, if I evaluate the limit of this, I will obtain b n this is equals to minus 2 pi into cos of 2 n pi by n pi plus 1 by n square pi into sin 0. Sin 0 this term will be vanishing and this will be this term will be cancelled pi will be cancelled this is 1. So, that you will obtain f x equals minus 2 by n sorry b n equals minus 2 by n. So, that I can write down f x equals pi because your a naught was 2 pi. So, a naught by 2. So, it will be pi minus summation n equals 1 to infinity b n sin n x b n is 2 by n minus 2 by n. So, it is 2 by n into sin n x. So, if I expand it I will obtain minus twice sin x plus it will be sin of 2 x by 1 minus 2 sin 3 x by 3 and like this way it will continue. So, once I am getting a naught a n and b n I can expand the function in this series. I hope it is clear to you now that if a function f x is given to us then how to find out the value of the series for the function f x and once I am representing f x in terms of a Fourier series that is in terms of sin and cosine series then at any particular point where the function is continuous I can find out the value of the function also. So, let us see this thing just a naught a n is 0 b n is this one we calculating and ultimately we are getting minus 2 by n. So, that f x is 
pi minus twice sin x minus sin 2 x by 1 minus twice sin 3 x by 3 like this way it will continue. Now, functions having arbitrary period. So, for what you have done? We have dealt with Fourier series expansion of functions where the period is of 2 pi, but if it is of arbitrary period what will happen? Means, in many practical problems and engineering problems we have found that the function may have arbitrary period not necessarily it will be twice pi or in other sense I can tell in general that we can obtain Euler's formula for Fourier coefficients for the functions whose period is 2 L that is we are trying to generalize now earlier we have done it for minus pi 2 pi or for period 2 pi. Now, we want to check that if the period is a generalized one 2 L say what is the effect on this where L is some positive number. So, in this case we are assuming that suppose you have f x function f x f x is defined in minus L to L. Since f x is defined in minus L to L and it is a periodic function with period 2 pi. To match with the earlier things we are assuming this thing say z equals pi x by L. So, that from here you can write down from this you can write down your x equals L into z by pi. And also if you see as x equals minus L you have z will be equals to minus L. So, it will be minus pi and whenever x is equals to L then if you put z equals pi. So, basically if you see what we have done we are making a substitution z equals pi x by L and by this substitution we are changing the interval of the or the range of the function from minus L to L to minus pi to pi. Whenever I am substituting this z equals pi x by L the limits also will be changing from minus pi to pi and I know the formulas for minus pi to pi already. So, now I can write down hence I can say that if I am creating a new function f of z which I can define as f of L z by pi which is nothing but capital F z is a function of x x equals L z by pi and it is you can say now it is defined in now minus pi to pi. Once it is defined in minus pi to pi, so I can expand capital F z in terms of Fourier function series because I know Fourier series of a function f x in minus pi to pi. So, once please note this one I had the original problem f x which I was defined in minus L to L. I am making the substitution z equals pi x by L by that way your z is now moving from minus pi to pi. So, that my original problem f x is now I am replacing by a new function capital F z which is nothing but f of L z by pi and which is defined in minus pi to pi. So, that capital F z can be expanded in terms of Fourier series. So, I can write down capital F z equals a 0 by 2 plus summation n equals 1 to infinity a n cos n z plus b n sin n z where you know a naught equals 1 by pi minus pi to pi f z dz your a n will be equals to 1 by pi minus pi to pi f z into cos of n z dz because I have to write down cos of n z and b n equals 1 by pi minus pi to pi f z into 
sin of n z dz. So, now this f z I can replace by small f of n z by l because your capital Z is nothing but function of Z this one is equals to your f of L Z by pi. So, this now I can replace this whole thing by this. So, once I am replacing this I can write down f of L Z by pi this is equals a naught by 2 plus summation n equals 1 to infinity a n into cos n z plus b n into sin n z, where a naught equals 1 by pi minus pi to pi capital F z now I am replacing by f of L z by pi into d z your b sorry first a n 1 by pi minus pi to pi again capital F I am replacing by small f of L z by pi into cos of n z d z and your b n this will be equals to 1 by pi minus pi to pi f of L z by pi into sin of n z d z and now you know. So, I am writing before this I translated I have written the Fourier series of capital F z. Now, in this slide you see I am trans transforming capital F z by f of L z by pi and after this what I will do I know that x equals L z by pi. If I substitute now this, so that your d x will become L by z into uh, sorry by into z. So, now this d z I can replace in terms of d x and z I can transform in terms of x. So, if I do that thing by transforming x equals L z by pi and d x equals this quantity then I can write down your f x equals a naught by 2 plus summation n equals 1 to infinity a n cos of. So, there was L z by pi by substituting L z in terms of this it will be cos of n pi x by L because your L z by x equals L z by pi L z by pi. So, value putting the value of this n z was there. So, I am substituting this plus b n into sin of n pi x by L where your a naught will be equals to 1 by L. Now, the limit will be changing it will be now again from minus L to L f x d x a n equals to 1 by L minus L to L f x into cos of this will become z I have to replace. So, that cos of n pi x by L d x and your b n will be equals to 1 by L minus L to L f x into sin of n pi x by L. Therefore, please note this one the earlier Fourier series whatever we have defined that was for minus pi to pi. So, now if a function f x is defined in minus L to L then f x can be expanded in terms of Fourier series as f x equals a naught by 2 plus summation n equals 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x by L plus b n sin n pi x by L, where a naught equals 1 by L minus L to L f x d x, a n equals 1 by L minus L to L f x cos of n pi x by L and your b n will be 1 by L minus L to L f x sin n pi x by L. So, only change is coming here, here and here limits are being changed from 
minus l to l and this will be true for some value from c to c plus 2 l I can write down. This formula is true whenever I take a any function f x which is defined in c to c plus 2 l. So, that whenever c equals minus l it will be from minus l to l I can make it 0 to 2 l by making c equals 0 to uh, c equals 0 I can put it this one. So, I hope it is clear a generalized function if a function is defined in a generalized period or arbitrary period with period 2 l in that case we can define it like this way. So, just as we have told here we are making it z equals pi x by l. So, that x equals l z by pi when x equals minus l we have z equals minus pi when x equals l we have z equals pi. So, that now we are redefining the function in minus pi to pi as a new function capital F z equals f of L z by phi and where we know that F z can now be expanded in terms of Fourier series which is known to us. So, that F z can be written in terms of this where a naught a n and b n are these three quantities integrals. Now, substitute here F z value of uh, capital F z is nothing but f of L z by pi which we have shown in the last uh, here capital F z equals f of L z by pi. So, once I am writing this I will obtain f of L z by pi this where a naught a l and b n will be changing. Now, I have to replace z by x. So, that using the formula x equals L z by pi. So, that d x I can represent in terms of d z and then f x can be written as a 0 by 2 plus summation n equals 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x by L plus b n into sin n pi x by L, where a naught a n and b n are these things which are defined from minus L to L. So, only change is coming earlier when the function was defined in minus pi to pi it was simply cos n x. Now, it is cos n pi x by L or sin n pi x by L when the function is defined in minus L to L. And let us see we have a function f x which is defined in the period in minus L to L with a period 2 L. We want to find out the Fourier expansion of this function f x which is defined in minus L to L. So, here f x is x. So, basically it is nothing but an odd function. Therefore, directly I can tell your a n will be equals to 0, your b n is equals to 2 by L, b n will be 0 for all n greater than equals to 0, b n will be equals to 2 by L into x sin n pi x by L into d x. If you evaluate the integral this will be equals to 2 by L minus L x by n pi into cos of n pi x by L plus L square by n square pi square into sin of n pi x by L the limit will be from 0 to L. So, if I substitute the limit over here again the limiting values your b n you will obtain as 2 by L minus L square into cos n pi by n pi and which is nothing but your minus if it is coming out cos n pi. So, this will be minus 1 to the power n into this one. So, that no this minus also will come outside this minus is there cos n pi is minus 1. So, that I can write it 2 into minus 1 to the power n plus 1 into L 
by n pi. So, that Fourier series of the function f x I can define as 2 by pi summation n equals 1 to infinity n equals 1 to infinity minus 1 to the power n plus 1 into L by n into sin of n pi x by L. So, Fourier series of the function f x I can f x equals x which is an odd function equals 2 by pi 0 to n equals summation n equals 1 to infinity minus 1 to the power n plus 1 into L by n into sin n pi x by L. Let us see this thing quickly. So, f x is an odd function n in 0 for all n including n naught your b n will be then from the formula 2 by L 0 to L x sin n pi x by L d x. If you evaluate the limit, you will obtain the value as this one. 2 into minus 1 to the power n plus 1 into L by n into pi. So, that Fourier series of the function can be written x equals 2 by pi summation n equals 1 to infinity value of b n. So, I hope it is clear how we are finding out the Fourier series of a function when it is defined in some arbitrary range minus L to L. Let us see this one. Earlier one we wanted to find out the periodic function of uh, uh, the value of the function f x Fourier series of the function f x when f x equals x. Now, we have provided with f x equals x square. So, since f x equals x square this is even function. So, that there will be only terms of a naught by 2 and a n. So, f x can be represented as a naught by 2 plus summation n equals 1 to infinity a n only cos term will be there cos of n pi x by L. Now, your a naught is equals to 2 by L into 0 to L x square d x. If I evaluate it 2 by L into this will be x cube by 3 0 to L so, you will obtain L cube. So, 1 L will be cancelled 2 L square by 3. So, your A naught is becoming 2 L square by 3 and your A n is equals to 0 to L x square cos of n pi x by L d x. So, this one I have to break it into two parts. So, that I will obtain Ten my a n I can write down as 2 by L this calculation will be little complicated sin of n pi x by L divided by then it would be n pi by L minus twice x into minus cos of n pi x by L. So, it will be n square pi square by L square plus there will be another term 2 into minus sin n pi x by L and another time multiplication. So, this was n square pi square this will be n cube pi cube by L cube and the value will be from limit will be from 0 to L I have to put. So, if I evaluate this one I will obtain 4 L square into minus 1 to the power n divided by n square pi square I will obtain this. So, that your a 1 will be equals to minus 4 L square by pi square your a 2 will be then 4 L square by 2 square into pi square. Your A 3 will be again minus will come minus 1 to the power 3. So, it will be 4 L square by 3 square into pi square in this way it will go. So, that you can write down 
your x square this is equals to l square by 3 minus 4 l square by pi square this will be in common into cos pi x by l cos pi x by l 1 square minus cos of 2 pi x by l into 2 square plus cos of 3 pi x by l by 3 square minus like this way it will continue. So, therefore, if x square is defined in this range then the x square can be expressed in terms of Fourier series like this way. So, just let us see quickly again whatever we have done since f x is even function it will consist of sign terms cos, cos terms only a naught and a n will be there a naught is this 2 l square by 3 a n if you calculate 4 l square minus uh, into minus 1 to the power n by n square pi square and a 1 a 2 a 3 are these so that x square you can write down in this term like this way. Next problem let us see quickly again a function is given with a period 2 where f x equals 1 x lies between 0 to 1 and 2 for 1 to 2. Let us see f x equals we are not able to tell it whether it is even or odd. So, that f x can be represented as a 0 by 2 summation over n equals 1 to infinity a n here it will be period is 2. So, that l is equals to 1. So, that it will be a n cos n pi x by l will not come because here value of l equals to 1. Basically, the function is defined from 0 to 2 uh, plus b n into sin n pi x, where your a naught will be 0 to 2 f x d x and the function is 0 in 0 to 1. So, that basically 0 to 1 it is uh, sorry 0 to 1 it is 1 and 1 to 2 it is 2. So, I have to break it into two parts 0 to 1 f x is 1 plus 1 to 2 it is 2. If you evaluate the value you will obtain this is equals 3. Similarly, a n equals 0 to 2 f x into cos n pi x d x. This equals you can write down 0 to 1 cos n pi x d x plus 1 to 2 the value is 2 therefore, it will be 2 into cos n pi x d x. If you evaluate the integral you will obtain value of both the integrals as 0. Similarly, your b n is equals to 0 to 2 f x into sin n pi x d x, which you can write down 0 to 1 sin n pi x d x plus 1 to 2 2 into sin n pi x d x. And if you evaluate the integral of this, this is actually your 0 to 1, 1 to 2. So, that I am just writing this minus cos of n pi x by n pi 0 to 1 plus 2 into minus cos n pi x by n pi. This will be from 1 to 2. If I evaluate these values, you will ultimately obtain 1 by n pi into minus 1 to the power n minus 1. So, that I can write down b n this is equals to 0 when n is even and this is equals to minus 2 by n pi when n is odd. So, once I have obtained this a naught I have obtained a n I have obtained a n is 0 and b n I have obtained this. So, I can write down f x equals 3 by 2 minus 2 by pi into 
sin pi x by 1 plus sin of 3 pi x by 3 plus sin of 5 pi x by 5 and like this way it will go. So, the function f x can be represented in this particular format. Therefore, if a function f x is defined either in minus pi to pi, either in minus l to l or if it is an odd function or if it is an even function, we can find out the Fourier series of these functions like this way.